Hi everyone, my name is Dorota Palitska, International New Artist and Educator, and today I would like to show you a very simple uh, designs that are going to be insects. I have already done uh, two of them, as you can see, that's a little spider and a little bug. Uh, but on this video I would like to show you a dragonfly and the lady beard, because I think that might be really popular in your salons. I have prepared some tips, so I don't lose the time uh, during this video. And what I have done, I have applied the gel polish, top coated, then buff it. And we will start off with the uh, lady beard. Uh, for this technique, I'm going to use the Neil Perfect Foil Design Gel and some foils. I have cut those really beautiful red for the lady beard. We are starting off with the body of the bear lady beard when applying the foil design gel make sure you apply it it's nice and even everywhere you don't want to apply too much of the product um, and you need to also test your uh, lamp for the curing but i will talk about it in a minute so nice and even The brush I'm using is a painting fine liner again from the new perfect as well and I find it is pretty good for those detail designs. So that's the body of the lady beard and now we can cure it. In my lamp I have to cure it for 30 seconds and it is a LED light uh, and a UV light usually we cure it two minutes uh, but I suggest you test your lamp and you find out which um, is the best curing time for you so the foil sticks in nice. To recognize is the foil going to stick in well we have to kind of scratch it on the back to see if this is a good quality. This one is not the best one compared to this foil you can see how easy it's transfer so I will test it during a life I never uh, tried it before I hope it will work so the more you can scratch the better quality the foil is and the, the more chances you've got to get a nice 100% coverage I place the foil in between my fingers and then I apply it to the design kind of massage it in but don't do too much movement and then pull it out so you can see I've got a wee spot which didn't attach and I will blame the quality of the foil for that so I have to go and repress it again and again until I'm happy. Our next step would be to draw the detail on the lady beard and apply some tiny bit more of the glitter to make it nice and sparkly. On the piece of foil, I'm going to apply a tiny bit of the top coat to make the body raised. And the glitter, I think, which will be nice is the holographic one. So I take a tiny bit of the top coat and tiny bit of those glitter and I make the body of the lady beard raised. You're kind of creating like a wee stone in there. Usually I find that the holographic um, glitters looks the nicest. Now I have to flash cure it. And reapply the top coat again. So 
nice and raised like a little stone then flash cure it again and then we can draw the dots and the head and the legs of the ladybird the easiest way for me to do that is I just pick up a tiny bit of the black gel and I uh, apply it on my foil this way I can train my brush to do a really nice and straight lines and the tiny ones so for a head we're just going to draw a little head You can hear my phone going on, like keeping busy, probably some of you guys asking me questions or messaging uh, regarding the nail arts. Uh, you can do that in this video as well. Now the lady beard has some, I wouldn't call them antenna, but the, the mouth, like uh, you can see them drawn in here and then the tiny tiny wee legs one two so you can see I'm kind of preparing my brush and then I paint with it little leg We also have to uh, draw a tiny wee black spot on the top of the lady beard and draw as a line and do a couple of the dots. I really like how sparkly it is. I can cure it now and then we will draw the huge white eyes. So clean my brush in between, then pick up the white paint on French, which is really highly pigmented. And then draw those little, actually not little, Ladybird has huge white eyes. After that we will top coat the design and that's it finished. And on this one, I can show you the uh, dragonfly. For dragonfly, I'm going to draw the body of it first. Again, using the paint or uh, the foil design gel. little head and the second part of the body We can cure that in 30 seconds in LED light. And then also top coat the lady beard. I think those type of designs looks really nice when we apply also lots of crystals around it um, or some caviar beads. And I'm definitely going to do that with mine. ladybird can cure and I can prepare some foil so for the dragonfly I'm going to use the rose gold foil and that's a nice quality foil which is going to transfer well you can see it so 
so we got a really nice coverage and then we can draw the wings keep your brush really hard in, and then gentle hard and then gentle by pressing it harder you're creating um, you're leaving more product in so it's just much quicker and then you can turn it and do the same on the other side you want them kind of go into the v-shape like this and then just give them a shape of the wing You can see how nicely my hands shake in this video. Not enough coffee today. Stabilize it with your pinky and that always works pretty well for me. So make sure the distribution is nice and even and we can cure it again. Oh, so that's the ladybird finish so we've got another little back to collection and for the wings i think this foil will be amazing because it has those little detail and then on top of that i will probably put a tiny bit of the glitter as well to create the similar stone effect um, like we did on the uh, ladybird that's a neonial electric effect and i think it's really nice um, it's just like a little little flakes that's my tip cure and I can apply the foil on the wings so secure the tip well on the clients it is a little bit easier and pull it out and you can see that this foil actually had the best coverage just because uh, as I said before the more you can scratch it on the back the better results you will get that looks really interesting because uh, of those uh, multicolor foil and I have to clean my brush go into the top coat and then make the wings to be raised actually I'm not going to probably apply that on the wings because I like them so much I might maybe do it a little bit on the body maybe on the wings as well yeah we can do it on the wings too it looks nice I have picked up the flags with my finger just to get uh, smaller portions And just break it into the smaller portions and I really like this dragonfly I can flash cure it then apply the top coat and make the wings more raised you can also do it uh, depends how big the stones you want you can do it with um, uh, build your gel it is just a bit quicker because uh, you can just go in uh, one go I don't like too much um, raise it effect uh, especially for the clients on the nails so that's why I choose the top coat we have to cure it again and I quite also like those little crystals so I'm going to use it in my dragonfly and then we can apply the top coat and that will be done
just a three little crystals on the body flash cured top coated and that's it done so nothing over too hard for you to do uh, always practice makes perfect of course but i think it is nice and effective design for your clients in a salon this one is top coated i have to cure it and i show you all of them and also on the spider i have used um, a little bit of the uh, painting with the gel as well just on his legs just uh, so we could get a little bit more of the definition and that's the designs i can show you them here they we are i hope you have enjoyed watching this video oh my gosh look at those wings <laughs> i hope you have enjoyed watching this video and if you did like and subscribe bye